Bruner's discovery approach to learning, its educational implications. Content outline, educational implications of Bruner's theory. At the end of this session, you will be able to discuss the educational implications of Bruner's theory. Educational implications of Bruner's theory. The teacher will have to bring in a paradigm shift in their teaching learning process. Till now it used to be the chalk and talk method, making students go through the last phase of the knowledge acquisition process that is the symbolic one. But it is high time that we focus on the inactive and iconic phase of knowledge acquisition. So first thing the teacher will have to do is stop teaching and start engaging students in learning. In order to do that, the teacher will have to first bring in life situations to the classroom as an introduction so that they create in students curiosity and readiness to learn. And once that is done, the teacher has to refrain herself from explaining or describing and encourage students to inquire into that particular phenomena in all possible ways so that they learn how to hypothesize. This will keep their curiosity maintained and the readiness to learn will still be there and all this will lead to a sort of excitement towards the learning process. Teachers will have to see that the children are always actively engaged in learning process. Teacher's job is that of a facilitator where they will design and present to children a set of activities intended to result in particular learning outcomes. Enable the children to be actively involved in those activities and then give direction to their thinking by encouraging them to inquire into that situation and come out with different possibilities. That is nothing but hypothesizing. And the teacher can make use of the inquiry training model and the concept attainment model which are explained in the book Models of Teaching by Bruce Joyce and Marsha Will. These are designed with the intention of keeping children active and make them hypothesize and then towards the end attain concepts on their own. Though the children are able to generalize on their own and come to a conclusion, it is for the teacher to give the uh, knowledge in the symbolic form in the correct manner uh, as given in the books. Therefore, the teacher will have to supplement whatever the students have learnt by presenting the knowledge in an organized sequenced manner. And when we, when Bruno says that the teacher has to present the knowledge, he says use minimum words, use simple words and use logical sequence. It is so unfortunate that the teachers resort to chalk and talk method, ignoring the inactive and iconic parts of the knowledge acquisition process. It is high time that the teachers uh, teach by other methods such as site based learning, guided discovery, problem based learning, simulation based learning and case based learning in addition to the concept attainment model and inquiry training model which can keep the children thinking about the concepts and to make enable them to attain them on their own. Though the children can be made to attain concepts on their own, we cannot possibly make them attain all the concepts like this. In higher classes especially, when there are abstract concepts and the teacher's role in explaining, illustrating are very much essential. And in addition, the children have to become self-learners. Therefore, the teacher will have to give children training in knowledge acquisition, enable them to utilize the documents properly, the art of referencing is to be taught to them and they should be able to make inferences based on the minimum information and they should be able to read critically. Critical appraisal of certain things can be written by the students and encourage discussions challenging certain beliefs and all such things will make children inquire into that phenomenon 
think independently and then come to a conclusion on their own and this will put them in the place of a discoverer where they will be acquainted with the process of knowledge generation rather than the mere product. So students, Bruner's discovery approach to learning has led to a paradigm shift in the teaching learning process. Chalk and talk method is out, activity based learning is in. The children have to be continuously engaged in activities, then they have to be inquiring into that phenomenon. They should learn the art of experimenting and verifying the hypothesis and then come to a definite conclusion on their own and what's more, they should be able to represent this knowledge using either words or formulae. And if you are successful in developing these skills in children, then we are successful in making them the discoverers rather than just the acquirers of certain knowledge. And this can be made possible only if the teachers can take efforts to be designing a set of activities, be there by their side in order to scaffold and help children towards the end to define and in the end supplement using the information, using minimum words, simple words and also using the logical sequence and also teach them the skill of referencing so that they will be able to learn on their own and should be able to learn with a critical appraisal. Thank you.